Miller Creek News this Thursday, October 12th. I'm Anna and... I'm Mason. Before we get to our school news, the staff at the MC News would like to send our good thoughts to everyone affected by the fires to the north. We hope everyone has moved to a safe place and is getting the care they need. We thank the first responders who are doing everything they can to help people. And we thank those who are reaching out to help the victims of the fires. Now on to the campus news. Homeroom games are once again canceled. When the air quality improves, we will go back to games as scheduled. Uh, there's no lunchtime sorting today. Beyond differences, it's meeting. The Beyond Difference meeting is canceled today. Uh, tomorrow, October, Friday the 13th, is the deadline for donations for the Birthday Book Club. Each $20 donation will buy a new book for our amazing Miller Creek Library. And all participating students are invited to our December party to pick the book they'd like to donate in their name. Now let's go out to Tanner for his report on the Creek Cafe. Hi, I'm Tanner, and this is Sharon Erickson from the Creek Cafe. But today, she's going to explain to you guys what you can buy here. What can you buy at the Creek Cafe? Okay, so at the Creek Cafe, every day we make uh, freshly made burritos. Some days they're meat and cheese, and then today I uh, have egg, turkey bacon, and cheese. And they are a dollar. Sounds great. Now, so where do the 6th and 7th graders line up? And okay, the so line up? at the beginning of the year, what Ms. Treewater likes to do is have the 6th graders line up with a small window here. Give them an advantage so that they don't get pushed out, not pushed out of the way, but like if the older kids kind of know what to do more. And then she has the older kids go correct this big window. And that's for like maybe the first month or two, and after that, then you can go wherever you want. Cool. Now, how much is most of the things cost here? Most of the things cost a dollar. Uh, there's a couple of things that are two dollars. The Izzy's, the bagels, and the uh, pizza sticks. And then everything else is a dollar, apart from chocolate milk, and that's 50 cents. Thank you. Now back to you in the studio. Hi. Hi. Thanks for making us hungry, Tanner. Millie's are available. Stop by the library and check one out. Please only check one out at a time. We really need volunteers to help with face pinning, directing runners on the route, working at the water table, helping as an art assistant, and helping provide runners with food at the end of the race. Interested volunteers can sign up directly with Ms. Kazanaga or Ms. Macheri. Cross-country practice is canceled today. Our race at Las Le La Bonita School oh, is, thank you, Anna. is still it's planned so for Monday. Now let's go out to Anna Four, who is interviewing 8th grade class president Meredith Case about student council. Hi, I'm Anna Four, and I'm here with one of your student council officers. Hi, I'm Meredith Case, and I'm the 8th grade class president here at Miller Creek. And I'm going to ask her a few questions about student council. So Meredith, how does a student council meeting usually work? Well, usually we have um, a group of homeroom reps from every homeroom and the officers are up at the front and we're all contributing ideas and asking questions and just helping out with the spirit days and whatever is coming up at school. So, could you tell us a little bit more about the homeroom reps? Well, the homeroom reps are a really good way to get involved in school. It's a great way to help others and just learn more about what's happening. And last but not least, what would you say your favorite part of being on student council would be? Well, my favorite part is probably getting to work with all the other people who do student council. I love getting involved in the school with others, and um, I really like getting to know what's happening and planning all the activities. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, yeah. and back to you at the studio. Bye. Thanks for a great report, Anna. The deadline for submitting yearbook cover art has been extended until Monday, October the 16th. Covers need to be given to Mr. Case by morning break on Monday. Any questions, see Mr. Case. That's all the news for today. We'd like to thank our producers, Chippy and Zoe, our cameraman, Treya, and our director, Max, for making today's news available to everyone.